Hello everybody, Toasty Toad here, and welcome to A Date With Death. Um, we are back. This is our final day alive with our soul that Casper's gonna come take, so let's see how this goes. He woke up particularly- you woke up early this morning, feeling particularly well rested. No one came for your soul in the night, which means today is the final day of your bet. You are almost certain- you are- can't contain your excitement, god! Good lord, after all, you seem to have this in the bag. You decide not to go on anymore today, safe to stay home and ride out your win. It's early in the morning, as you wait for your eventful messages from your own personal Grim Reaper. We're gonna water it. Your little sprout is happy and healthy because of you, and today, it rewards you with beautiful flowers. You water your plant and feel a sense of accomplishment. Check on Sinky. Stinky is lazing around happily, and for some reason you feel oddly nostalgic today, sitting next to Stinky. You're certain you will win the bet, but it, you still give Stinky some extra love. Anything could happen after all. Tell Stinky you love him. You go on to tell Stinky how much you've loved him for... How much you love him for 15 minutes. It's not enough, he deserves even more. You get Stinky some treats, hang out together, and overall just enjoy each other's company this morning. You love Stinky so much, words cannot even come close to describing how you feel. And in return, you feel immense love from Stinky as he purrs and sits on your lap. That's great. The hallway is beyond quiet. It seems you missed the ending to the story. The dawn of the final day or something. You don't feel particularly like you're going to die today. Something about the Grim Reaper you've come to know feels... Too soft for things to end like that. Perhaps you can celebrate your win early? You could. Eat a whole chocolate cake. Maybe even two. Who's gonna stop you? But for now, you decide not to celebrate too early. There's plenty of time for that in the future. I don't think there's a future. Still amazingly beautiful. Let's see what our bookshelf holds. Favorite childhood book. Is there one thing you retain? I hope it's that. Ugh. If there's one thing you retain from your journey, I hope it is this. Enjoy your life. Appreciate the small moments. Love with your entire heart. Not every moment has to be epic. A life filled with great deeds is also filled with great exhaustion. The smallest, most average moments can contain extraordinary beauty if you pay attention. We spend so much time hoping for rest. For the moment, we can relax, but true peace comes not at the end, but in the middle. It will take effort to experience these small joys and stop merely hoping for big ones. So, dear reader, this is my gift to you. Live every moment like it's your last. And don't forget how damn lucky you are that you will get more. That's really nice. I like that. I like that a lot. Alright. Let's see what's going to happen to us. Alright. Shall I draw you a final picture? I know y'all love this one so much. Let me make sure I saved it. Let's try and draw a kitty cat. I hope y'all are liking my kitty cat. This is my rendition of Stinky. I better appreciate my kitty cat drawing. I swear to God. Trying my best. What color should Sinky's collar be? With let's go with purple. Oh, that's terrible. 
Do y'all like stinky? Y'all better love stinky. Look at him. This is all you get. This is your final drawing. Let's look at what the internet says. Just have patience. That's definitely not. Oops. Show great patience, I did it. Okay, well, let's check our gallery. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> All right, I don't know what time it is. Let's get to it. Good morning, Casper. What a lovely day it is. You have my heart. The sun is shining. The sun is always shining, whether you can see it or not. Sure, I imagine it's a nice day for you. You're so wise. But I was getting that it's such a lovely day. Today. Today is fine. My little reaper, you're about to run out of time. Ah. The day has come. It seems time has run away from me. But there is no issue. Is there not? Be grateful because I am allowing you a few more hours. I am indefinite. I am infinitely kind. Oh wow, your generosity knows no bounds. How will I ever thank you? Thank me by not resisting this any further. It is difficult enough as it is. And over what remains of your soul, please. Where's the fun in that? You are difficult right until the end. Don't you like the chase? Sure. In moderation. I feel like I've been chasing you your entire life. Aw, Grim's been chasing me. Yes, well, your soul is in you, so I need to chase you, stupid. You're romantic at heart, Casper. Mortal, on the last day of your life, I find it only fair that I share with you what I have discovered. You've been studying Grimmy? Yes. As I said yesterday, your soul is incomplete because you've been giving parts of it away. Something that is usually not possible for a mortal. That answered some of my questions. Why your soul seems so strange, how you managed to take my soul sickness away. But it didn't answer enough. I've had, I've have so many more questions. I found the answer. Lay it on me, Casper. Lilith, you embody life, just as I embody death. My research led me to a rare trait that shows maybe only every thousand or so years in a mortal. You have the touch of life on your soul. You are life, so to speak. That is why I have not been able to take your soul. That is how you avoid death without a thought. That is why you can heal as you do. You are special. You've always been special. So, I'm immortal now? I'm unsure. Perhaps. There's only one way to find out. And that will be me trying to take your soul one final time. Really? Doesn't sound like it'll work for you. And you've less and you've left it so last minute. If you really wanted it that badly, I don't think you would have let me let time slip. Oh I know. It's because you're in love with me, right? I I what I don't know what you're talking about, probably. You said it yesterday, right? You like me. You want to hate me, but you can't. Must be frustrating for you, little Reaper. Unless you've changed your mind. My mind, perhaps, I could sway. My heart is not so weak. Ahem. Cannot let my feelings get in the way of my work. Your soul must be taken. If, if 
if I'm not the one to take it, if I let you go, then someone else would come for you. And I would be terminated. You can hang around and protect me. I can keep away your soul sickness, and you can keep all other reapers away. Casper and Lilith, on the run, together forever. I. that sounds... I must see this competition... This... I must see this competition, this bet, through to the end. God knows what awaits us at the end of it. I know already. I win. Keep your soul. And you. No, I will win. I am the Grim Reaper. Mortals, mortals fear me. Just you wait. I don't mind waiting a little longer. I mean, it's been a whole week already of you being unsuccessful. Can't wait to take a bite out of your soul. Dream all you want, sunshine. I fully intend to keep my soul. When did you learn how to be sarcastic? You used to get around not being... You use that to get around not being able to lie, too, don't you? I have not spoken a single lie. There is always exception to rules, sweetheart. Oh, I'm your sweetheart. Oh, I like it when you call me that. That's adorable. Don't get ahead of yourself. I didn't mean it like that. be my sweetheart too you know what maybe i should just come and take it after take it now after all Ooh, you call me sweetheart first deal with it my love hells come on honey no need to be shy shut shut that mortal mouth of yours i you can't just come out and call me that i can feel you blushing from the other side of my computer screen Darling. Guess who just got back from jail? That's it. I'm changing your nickname. Oh. Can't wait to see what- I hope it's as cute as sweetheart. You truly- You are truly a nightmare. Nightmare. My little nightmare. For a second, it was insulting, but then you added my. And now I kind of like it. Let's stick with sunshine. Sunshine it is. I feel attached to that one. It does seem to be the best fit. And Nightmare seems to contradict that somewhat. Mmm. The sunshine sounds extra cute when you say it. Very domestic of you. Right. Well, since you've so graciously given me a few more hours, what are you actually doing, considering you aren't reaping my soul? Nothing much. Contemplating. Thinking. This is not going very well. It's not going- It is not going very well, Jesus! That seems unlike you. Is there something wrong today? To be totally honest with you, everything is wrong today and every part of my mind is fighting with itself. Sounds tough, buddy. It is tough, yes. Shall we take this- conversation to a call sunshine anything you want baby girl who am I to deny such a request can't resist me can you Casper don't say my name like that oh why not Casper. Don't you like a pretty girl calling out your name like that? I, I am unused to such attention. I don't usually go around getting to know my prey. I'd hope not. I'm your special mortal after all. It pains me that I cannot argue with that. Oh, by the way. You can sneak out of answering- You can't sneak out of answering my question properly so easily. What have you been up to today? If you must know, I was doing my skincare routine while thinking about you. I mean, about your soul. That explains so much! What do you do for skincare then? Twice a day. 
cleanse tone serum eye cream day cream sunscreen in the morning and cleanse mask tone serum eye cream night cream in the evening no one you have so i think he said no one you have such good skin i want to touch it not surprising perhaps i would allow you to touch it but this well as much as i enjoy talking about skincare there's something more important on my mind and what's that you there is a decision I am thinking over, one that is very important, life-altering, if you will. Okay, this sounds serious, yes. That's not something I should consider in yet. Thinking about it anyway, considering it, weighing my options. Will it get you in trouble? It will put me in the most trouble I could be in. Casper, what exactly is it you're considering? Speak not of a word. Speak not a word of this to another soul, because it will not only get me in trouble, but you as well. This is a choice just for the two of us. What? You understand? Well, yes, but what is it? Fuck. I'm thinking about breaking protocol. You mean? I mean, I'm thinking of refusing to collect your soul, refusing to collect any more at all. gonna quit? I've never heard of one of my kind quitting before. You either work or you are terminated. But I am capable of making my own decision for better or worse. Are you thinking about this because because of you? I'm thinking about it because of you, sunshine. I don't want you to get into trouble because of me. You've always gotten me into trouble. Perhaps I don't mind. If I do this, then it's because it is something I want for myself. And I quite like the sound of doing whatever I want for a change. Not having to follow some set of rules I was destined to follow. But if it's just one-sided wish, even I wouldn't be arrogant enough to force it on you. If you... Just a few words, and I would throw everything away for you. This is romantic as fuck! Oh, Casper. I think I'm in love with you. You... Really? About me? Yeah, I've never felt this way before. You have my heart. So... Wanna run away together? I mean, it'll be more you running than me. I've got an apartment and a pet to worry about. If I came over right now, would you open the window? It's already open for you, Casper. Perfect. Are you planning on sneaking in through my window? Hardly sneaking if you just let me know. I, if I just let you know, I'd be coming. I hang up. I'll come right over. But I know you just joked about running away together, but I will really af I will really effectively be on the run. I cannot say here. Where are you going to go? You have a couch? I can do you one better. I have a bed. I'm talking about a place where I can sleep. Yes. My bed. Why would I make you sleep on the couch? Seriously, Casper. You want to sleep in the same bed. As long as you're comfortable with it, too. I'm comfortable with it. Are you sure? I wouldn't offer it to you if I wasn't. There's plenty of room for both of us. I want to lay by your side. Or snuggle up, if you wanted to as well. I'll leave that up to you. I cannot believe you. You literally just invited someone who was actively trying to kill you into your bed. Is that a habit? That's a habit. Someone, rewind some Baldur's Gate 3 footage. Well, yeah. But I happen to like him a lot. And he isn't actively trying to kill me now. 
Nope, I suppose I'm not. That's what am I doing? Deciding your own fate. Making your own story? I never thought I would get the chance to even think about something like that. Leave the window open, okay? See you soon, sunshine. Absolutely feral. The sun shines beautifully through your unlocked window. You stand and walk over towards your bed. You can't help but think, today is a good day to be alive. It doesn't take long for the sound of your window being shifted. It pulls you out of your head. There you see the prettiest, sweetest, stupidest, dumbest man you've ever met. Your heart swells and your body moves before you can even think. Lilith, you really did leave it open for me. And you, you even cleaned off your desk. Nice of you to join me, Casper. Cheeky little. I know you said you were fine with sharing the bed, but I didn't expect you to. No. What did you think would happen? I had no clue. I had a small thought you were pulling some elaborate joke. That I would arrive here and you would be gone. But you're here. I'm here. This advance is not unwelcome. You're cute. There's that signature blush. No, I don't think I will. This is what you've been waiting for! Who would have thought I'd make a bet with a reaper? And that he'd be on my bed blushing like this. With his hair spread everywhere so nicely. I'm dirty talking this man, bruh! Maybe this was a... Uh, a what? A bad idea? Poor Casper, you can't even lie about it. I want to hate you so badly. I know. But you can't. So you may as well love me. I want to hear you say it in person. Say what? Tell me how you feel about me. I... I obviously wouldn't be here if I didn't. I like you. Oh, that doesn't sound correct. Gods. I'm so good at speaking, but when it comes to you, I become a mess. What I feel for you is more than just like. You are everything I desire. So I probably, maybe, am in love with you. I won the bet, Casper. I know. You can keep your soul. Oh. I'd much rather have your heart. A poor trade-off. Then give me something else, too. What do you want? How about a kiss? A kiss? No. Yes. Yes. A kiss is fine. A kiss is more than fine. A kiss is great. <laughs> Cute. Close your eyes, Casper. Really, you're so demanding. I got stuck with the worst mortal of all. Well, kiss me then, sunshine. Ending three, mine. Did I get the good ending first try? Yo! Respect all these freaking people. You see how much work they put into this and it's free and all you gotta do is go buy a DLC they put so much damn work into this and you better go play it for yourself and it's on steam and it's on itch look at all this this is an amazing game sorry I'm not yawning because of that I'm yawning because it's very late and I just played through like pretty much all this game I'm gonna let this you pay attention to this All these Patreons. All right. And with that, look at that. You can buy. by Asriel. Okay. So, 
This game was 10 out of 10. This is an amazing game. It's free. It's so well written. It was enjoyable. I loved playing this. Like, I could not stop playing it. Um, it's an amazingly fun dating sim. I actually really like the story, too. I think it's great. I love the chemistry going back and forth. And again, this is free. You can buy the DLC and, like, I don't know, go support them. But, like, Jesus, like, mad fucking respect for all this. I'm not gonna lie. This is amazing. Um, I think you should all, if you're into this kind of game, go play it for yourself or... You know, go support them. Go buy their Asriel plush. If I'm even saying that right. Um, just thank you guys for watching. This has been a great experience. And I'm going to replay it like 30 times. I might even play and get a different ending. So we'll, we'll see about that. If you guys liked this game. And you want to see more games like this. You can like, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification button. Or suggest some other things for me to play in the comment section below. I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. Take care and take it easy.